finally, I've got it in my grasp. After a year of waiting, and waiting and waiting, we finally have the Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Hulk Hogan in our grasps. What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the WWE Amazon exclusive Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan. Now, as we stated in the intro, this figure has had its ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs. It's been out for a very long time and a lot of people were probably wondering, MDT, you didn't, you didn't review this figure. Why was that? And it's because of the loops and bounds that everyone had to go through for this figure. Now, if you were one of the first few that got this thing last year when it came out. Props to you. You know, there was a lot of ups and downs with the orders. I ordered two of them. You guys know that I try to order two of every Ultimate Edition. When they went up, I ordered two. I was not one of the lucky ones. And it said, it was funny because I ordered it very shortly after it went up and it said, estimated arrival August 2022. And this is in like the middle of 2021 or near, like maybe, maybe it was July or August of 2021, I think when I ordered it. And I was like, there's no way that's correct. Well, fast forward a year later brad and it was spot on it was spot on i luckily did not get mine canceled i know a lot of people were waiting and they got theirs canceled i actually got mine in hand and i'm so excited to finally have this figure i did get two of them and funny enough one came in a shipper one did not come in a shipper and the one that came in the shipper had the loosed hand so the fist is actually missing right here it's like it's loose in the package, as you guys can see right there. So I am going to open this one. I'm going to keep my other one mint on card. I think this one was in better condition, but obviously you don't want a you know a loose hand rolling around there. So that's unfortunate. But we're going to crank this guy out of the packaging. It is fan takeover, so you do have the red with the white border. Hulk Hogan at the top. You got a beautiful image of the front viewing window of Hulk there. Ultimate Edition logo, Mattel. Super articulated stuff down here. Great image of Hulk over here. Kind of a bit of a lazy eye right there. Fan takeover image at the top. Hulk Hogan down here. On the back you do get a nice shot of the figure i remember when this and the jeff hardy image was leaked online we made a whole video about it and that was like forever ago but hulk hogan fan takeover right here you got some info as well as down here and it looks like wrestlemania 9 won the vote by 0.7 percent over the wcw nitro debut and out of all three of these gears i don't think i voted for wrestlemania 9 i don't think i voted for wrestlemania 9 i want to say i voted for the nitro debut i can't remember though nonetheless on the other side you got hulk hogan ultimate edition logo right there and that pretty much wraps up our packaging for this Hulk Hogan fan takeover man let's crack this guy to the packaging after the year-long wait and find out what this guy's all about so here's Hulk Hogan spinning round and round out of his packaging looking pretty good I might say I like this figure a lot so far, what we got. I mean, to be honest with you, have we seen this figure before? I mean, kind of, you know? You know, it's kind of like a mix and match of different things, but we do have some cool stuff going on with it. I'm so excited to finally have this in hand, man. You do not know the fiasco, or maybe you do. Maybe you went on your own circus fiasco with this figure, but I'm finally happy to have it. Maybe some of you guys got yours in around the same time as me. I saw where a lot of people got theirs canceled completely, and I'm just so glad that didn't happen here. So I'm very excited to have this in hand. Get it out to review, man, but you guys know how we do. We're we're going to review the accessories that comes with this Hulk Hogan. Then we'll take a closer look at the Hogan itself and compare it to the rest. But is it me or... Like, I swear to God, I have reviewed so many Ultimate Editions in the last, like, couple months. It's been so many Ultimate Editions, man. Truly unbelievable. But as you guys know, I do love the line. I love Ultimate Editions, and they're very fun to collect. And uh, I, I think we have a long line of left to come. Plenty of great Ultimate Editions, of course, coming in the near future. But anyways, man, let's take a look at his accessories. So getting into Hulk Hogan's accessories accessories as an ultimate edition does you get a lot of stuff right that's the way of the world let's zoom in here you do get a wwf championship which we've seen multiple times right but it is nice to include the championship and mattel's championships always look great you got the blue globe in there it's looking pretty good i like it i think mattel has some of the best championship belts we've ever seen with action figures so this this works well for me you know the side plates look good the sizing looks good i'll take it all day another thing i love mattel for is the cloth goods you got the yellow hulkamania shirt right there great classic logo you got the red right there 
there. You got the rip in the middle, which is cool for the tear away. In the back, you actually even have the slits in the shirts, which I think is brilliant. Fits the figure well. Looks good on the figure. Any cloth goods, I'll never complain about it unless it stains the hell out of the figure. And you ain't got to worry about that here. Mattel's really good about the staining, though. It's really Jazz Wears that has the problems, but Mattel's, you know, nobody bats a thousand. So, you know, really nice quality shirt, though. Really nice to see this. As far as other clothing, we also have the Hulkamania bandana. Pretty sure this came with his Hall of Fame figure, the Target exclusive, because I'm pretty sure it was based on the same event, so they just gave us the, the headband again. So it's the same deal there. You got the red lines coming through. Hulkamania logo on the front. Kind of meshes together there, but not too bad. Fits the figure heads well, but it, going around, you got the same pattern going now. And pretty good stuff. We also have the Hulkster weight belt. Now, I'm not a Hulkster weight belt connoisseur, so I don't know if it's accurate or not, but it does say Hulkster here. It's got yellow. It's got red. It looks good. I'm sure that there's something inaccurate about it. It doesn't have the weight belt part where it would clip together, you know? It doesn't have the buckle or anything, but, you know, it is a weight belt accessory. I'm pretty sure they've given us the same mold for like seven years now. Outside of that, we have interchangeable heads and hands, and we've seen this head sculpt before. Now, one thing that's interesting to note, this is the same head sculpt we saw in the Elite 91 Hulk Hogan and the same head sculpt we've seen for a very long time now. We even saw it on the Ultimate Edition, the Hollywood Hogan Edition, and you guys will notice this one's clean shaven, as it should be, right? This is a very old head sculpt from Mattel. Well, if you go over here to the newer head sculpts, it's from the Ultimate Edition, so it gives you that 5 o'clock shadow. They did not smooth over that. He's supposed to be completely clean shaven, but they gave him 5 o'clock shadow and like a textured beard right there, so it's got like a fleshy textured beard thing going on, which is kind of weird, but I mean, honestly, it looks like this head sculpt with a straight face, so that's good, but uh, yeah, that fleshy stuff is kind of weird. And then what's really cool is you get the black eyed head sculpt from WrestleMania 9 there, so you do get the black eye in there, which looks really, really good. Screaming head sculpt again, same fleshy beard type deal that you got going on there, which is unfortunate, but yeah, you do get the fleshy stuff. Nice handlebar mustache, nice black eye. I like it. I think this works great. We saw these with the Hollywood Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition. Outside of that, you get a pair of mic holding hands in the nice skin tone. You get a pair of fists in the nice skin tone. You get your pointing hulking up sort of hands. What you gonna do, brother? Pointing hands, which look good. And then you got the other pump up the crowd, hand shaking Kawhi Leonard, ricochet. I can't hear you. You, know, you, you get what I'm saying. Palm to the ear, pump up the crowd. What you gonna do, brother? So getting into the Hulk Hogan figure itself, starting out with the head sculpt, I went with the straight face just because I think it looks the best on this head, you know, or this body, I should say. You know, I just like the way it looks. Soft, clean cut. It looks proportionate to the torso. I wish to goodness they would use this torso on every Hulk Hogan ever because they give him that ripped up torso on his older figures, which makes no sense. This torso would work way better. I know this is an Ultimate Edition, but they could give him the cane torso. You know, there, there's options out there, but instead they give him some garbage, which we'll take a look at in a moment, but arms look good, butterfly joints look good, you do get the pinless in there, really nice, I'm pretty sure this is the first figure that started the sweat band, arm band deal, or maybe, maybe this is the first, like, other creative use, right, because I think the Cena Ultimate Edition Series 5 was the first one, then they did this one, and it's pretty cool to see that, I'm pretty sure it was just one sweat band on there, it wasn't two sweat bands with a continuous design, but, you know, it's still a really cool deal there, nice, you know, creative uses there with the sweat bands, I think it looks really, really good and awesome, so I, I love that. Got the plain yellow trunks, nothing going on too much there. Got the big beefy thighs, not pinless joints there, but you do get the red knee pads, and you got the nice ball joints here for the thighs and legs, and you do have the tall yellow boots with the white strings, which look really, really good. I think, again, man, I know it was kind of like a quick little preview there, but, I mean, it's a standard Hulk Hogan. I don't know what you really want here, man. It looks really good. I think it feels really good in the hand. The Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan's are really nice, and again, I, I just like it, man. I also think it's cool that you could remove these armbands. I mean, you could do some other things with it, but let's get into some Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan figure comparisons. So for your Hulk Hogan figure comparisons, or as far as Ultimates, this is every Ultimate Hulk Hogan we've seen so far, and I'm sure we're not done, man. There's gonna be plenty more where that came from. You guys can see that these two are practically, you know, the same figure except for, you know, some accessories, some different parts, choices of the era, and you know, stuff like that. Different shirts, different titles, stuff like that. Of course, it's different eras, and then these two are kind of a repaint of each other. And then in all honesty, these are pretty much repaints of each other, except they just added sweatbands and gave him pinless joints and then changed the skin tone. So, you know, they all kind of run together. I know we're going to get more. I wouldn't be shocked if they did an Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan again with the updated skin tone, more bells and whistles. I could absolutely see that, man. But so many Hulk Hogans, this is just a fraction of the Hulk Hogans that we're going to continue to get. You got the Mr. America coming soon. I mean, just for the hell of it, let's just bring up all of them together. So here's all the Hulks up next to each other that we've gotten over the last couple years, to be honest with you. You got the Survivor Series Elite in there. You got the ring 
ringside exclusive NWO Elite Hulk Hogan. You got the Elite 91. And just all of these, it, you still have the Elite 34, the defining moments. You got the Mr. America like we talked about. You got the WrestleMania 39, WrestleMania 18 Elite Hulk Hogan coming soon. Same garbage formula as this over here. Oh, so they have like two or three formulas that are just, you know, kind of recycling for Hulk Hogan. And I don't see it coming to an end anytime soon. We're going to continue to get the guy. And I like his looks. You know, I love, I, I'm not a Hulk Hogan fan, to be honest with you, but I still like the different looks and eras and stuff, you know, up next to each other on the shelf. I think it's brilliant. Anyways, man, I think that pretty much wraps up our Hulk Hogan figure comparisons. But anyways, man, I think that pretty much wraps up our fan takeover Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan figure review. I mean, I guess the year-long wait was worth it. I don't know about all that, but still, you know, I'm still glad that it arrived at my door. I think overall, if you're a Hulk fan, this is the one to grab. It is very, very good. You know, it's different, different era, you know. I think you get some cool bells and whistles on this guy that you don't on other I love the rip away shirt. I love that they have the sweatbands on there, even though it's two sweatbands instead of one, you know, all that stuff. Still think it's a pretty damn good figure, man. I think if you're a Hulk guy, you got to get it. I like that we have, you know, this head sculpt with the, you know, the nice tan on there, which I think is really brilliant. I think it's a pretty good piece, man. Overall, classic Hulk Hogan. It's not the first. It won't be the last. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're going to get this guy a ton, and it is just the beginning, man. We're going to continue to get ultimates. We're going to continue to get looks of Hulk Hogan. It's just the way that it is. And, you know, you just got to build a bridge and get over it at this point but it is amazon exclusive and i do not know what the entire stock of it right now is so you, you may have to get lucky with it you can go check it out though you know i don't know but anyways man i'm getting out of here thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below i really really appreciate you guys stopping by leave me your thoughts on this figure down below man but let's get into a random shout out before we get out of here and this shout out's gonna go to clean king tv day six of trying to get the random shout out well brad you hit it you know it's just it's it's random and there it is so hopefully you do enjoy Enjoy that and you bask in it because Clean King TV gets the shout out today. Sometimes it'd be like that. We didn't have a lot of comments on the last video, so you guys need to spam the comment section if you guys want that random shout out. You know, give me a question, give me a good comment, give me a nice, insightful deal, tell me a joke. I mean, lots of ways to get the random shout out here on the channel, but thank you guys for watching. Shout out to Clean King TV. I'm getting the hell out of here. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you in the next one. You cross